In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat max coverage defense from the uh, Air Raid 5 wide formation in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel focuses in on Madden 21 tips and tricks that are designed to help you give you uh, little principles, little nuggets, little tactics that you can use in your own uh, gameplay um, to be able to win more games and have more fun playing Madden 21. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, um, I would also encourage you that we upload four times a day here on our YouTube channel. We upload at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock at 6 o'clock and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We also live stream every single night and basically just hang out and play Madden together uh, on stream at 10 o'clock. We answer any questions that you might have and just kind of talk through some of the latest things happening in the Madden community. So if you're interested in coming by the stream, uh, we will be live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right here on our YouTube channel. The other thing I want to ask you to do is to go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen if this interests you, if you're interested in the content that we provide and secondly, um, what I would ask is that you join our community Discord. Now, Discord is a really, really great tool and resource. Um, and if you take advantage of it, it actually can really help you, I think, really improve in Madden 21 um, a lot. Because what our Discord is, it's basically a place where all of my subscribers, all of my community are able to come together and we're able just to share new ideas, bounce ideas off each other, practice Madden together, and honestly, just uh, build community. So if you're looking for a Madden community, you're looking to be a part of something, I'd highly encourage you to click on that link in the description. It's completely free to join the Discord. And the bottom line is one of the things that I really believe that helped me get better as a Madden player and continues to help me get better as a Madden player is through bouncing ideas back and forth off of other people in the community. And so it's a great way for you to be able to do that. All right, guys, I wanted to share this little video, this little tip here today. And what we're going to be primarily talking about is I am going to be showing you what it looks like whenever people run max coverage defense on you, right? I get a lot of this, especially when you start running five wide. They'll come out and cover two man. And basically what they're going to do is they're going to um, put their outside safeties in purple zones. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put our best wide receiver on our team at this right of screen player. As you can see, this is going to be Devontae Adams for the Green Bay Packers. And all we're going to do is we're going to come out in this play inside cross. This is a very specific play. It's from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. As you can see here, it has this really nice little post route on the right hand side of the screen. Now, here's the deal. We also have a full ebook out on this Arizona Cardinals playbook. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that I love the Arizona Cardinals offense because I believe it is the best passing playbook in Madden NFL 21. And so if you are looking to have an air raid type of offense, I wrote the guide based on the air raid principles from the real life and I transfer them over into Madden. And so if you are looking for an air raid type of offense, I would highly encourage you to pick up my offensive guide. It's in the description. It also comes with my full defense. So there's over 125 pages of material in this ebook and it goes and walks you through step by step how to really transform your offense and your defense in Madden. We've had a ton of people that have had a ton of success with this. One of the guys um, uh, that I was talking to last night, um, he actually went, uh, I think he was uh, in the wild card or maybe not even in the playoffs in CFM last season. And this last season that he was just in, he was able to actually end up winning the Super Bowl and went 14 and 2 with this ebook. So I would highly encourage you if you have not checked out the Air Raid uh, ebook in the 46 defense, you can pick that up in the description. All right, so th this is what people are going to do a lot of times when you're in 5Y. They're going to basically play man coverage. They're going to shade coverage outside, and they're going to shade coverage over top. And then what you'll see a lot of times is they'll kind of use her in the middle field. So if you have a post route going over the middle field, they're going to guard it with this uh, with this guy right here. These two guys are going to go on purple zones because they're going to basically stop a lot of crossing routes. And so what you can do is um, a couple things. First and foremost, um, you can kind of set this play up. And I, I like to set this play up through um, using plays like Y corner. And basically all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take Brown and I'm going to put him on a little uh, flat. And then I'm going to put Devontae Adams on a slant and I'm going to motion him to the left side. What you'll see is this is going to kind of give them the reaction they want, right? You're going to be coming back across the formation. Now, obviously, this beats max coverage, right? And they're going to basically have to choose with their user. Are they going to be guarding the slant route or are they going to be guarding the uh, outside post route or are they going to be guarding the route to um, Robert Tonyan? So you have a lot of different options with this play Y corner. The next thing that you're going to be able to do, though, off of this is you're going to be able to go to this inside cross play. 
And the only adjustment that you really need to make on this is I would recommend smart routing Devonte Adams as post route. And then from there, really the only thing I would do is I would run uh, Aaron Jones on a little flat pattern. And then I would take Marquez Valdez Scantley and I'd run him on a drag. And I'm going to motion Devonte Adams to the, the on that same motion to the left and snap right as soon as he passes his left tackle. And what you'll notice is that there's no safety coverage deep, even if they've shaded coverage outside and over top, you're going to see that Devontae Adams is going to get over the top of the defense. What's also really nice about the five wide and the way that the motion works is it's going to force, um, it's going to force your opponent to have to honor, uh, and what you're going to notice here, he's going to get, he may not necessarily get matched up with a corner, um, or I'm sorry, a linebacker like he did on this last one. And we'll show you here why it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a corner or a linebacker or a safety. Um, as long as there's no safety over top. This is shaded coverage over top as well. But as long as there's no safety that is in a deep half over the top, what you're going to be able to do here on this play is you're going to see that this is going to create a little bit of a matchup problem because he can't get pressed. He's not going to get pressed by that receiver even if he had press coverage on. And as you can see, this route is going to get over the top of the man coverage. It's a very, very simple deal. And that was the safety. It was 93 speed to various more. Probably the best overall matchup to be able to go with that route. Now, what I want to do really quickly is I want to show you what's going to happen if they do have a safety back on this play. We're going to run the same exact setup. But what this is going to then do, if they have a safety back, it's going to open up the underneath routes. Now, you can still hit this route to Devontae Adams. All you're going to do is just going to hard left outside pass lead it, and it's going to basically turn it into uh, essentially a corner route that you're going to be able to hit for a really, really big game against pretty much any defense. And again, um, that has these these deep safeties. It doesn't matter, especially if you have someone like a Devontae Adams that has over 90 deep route running. I find that 90 deep route running to be the threshold um, for these routes to be really, really effective. As you can see here, click on. I can get that out there to the outside. Let me try that one more time just to show you um, that this route can work um, specifically if they're coming out and maybe you're facing someone that's going to say, okay, you know what? We're not going to, we're just going to come out and literally play uh, cover two man stock on you. You can still use this play and uh, take a look here right on that cut hard left pass lead, let them run. And as you can see, you're going to be able to get that catch against man to man coverage. The other thing that you're going to be able to do, and let's just say that they, uh, let's just say that they user that route, right? Let's just say that they, they're going to take that away with their user. Um, that's kind of their decision. And what you're going to see now is this is going to open up these underneath patterns. These underneath patterns are going to start to really open up against the man-to-man -man coverage. As soon as those safeties are backed off, it's going to open up the middle of the field, and you're going to be able to just hit these crossing routes very, very easily against man-to-man -man coverage. So that is um, inside cross and how you can use it. Like I said, when you couple it with this Y corner, it's the same exact motion. So you're able to uh, really start to kind of clear out some of these zones um, and really put some stress on them and get your best wide receiver um, some matchup problems, maybe on linebackers or different things like that, depending on the coverage and depending on the formation that they're using. The, uh, the bottom line is you're going to get Devontae Adams matched up. Um, pretty much guaranteed you're you're going to get him matched up against some kind of linebacker or safety uh, within this play because not very many people are going to run quarters. Uh, and even if they do run quarters, he'll still be matched up, I think, against a linebacker um, unless they're running like quarters, two man under spy. But if they're doing that, then you're just going to check down and run the ball on them for days. Um, you know, and you don't even have to do that. You'll still be able to beat it with most of the stuff in this formation. The other thing you could do, and as you can see here, I mean, there's just so much you could do with this formation. But um, you'll notice that if I motion him over, like if I call the play dig curl read, now he's motioned over on this little out route. And that little out route is very effective for both man and zone coverage. So this five wide scheme is really starting to take effect. And again, we break down the entire screen scheme for you in the air raid offense. It also shows you how to use all the other formations, right? The, the five wide, in my opinion, is not even the best formation in the Arizona book. The best formation by far in the Arizona book is the gun spread Y slot has the best play in Madden curl wheel. And if you want to know how to run that play uh, and how to run that play at its most effective method, I have a literally a 50 minute breakdown in the ebook on that one specific play. So I'd highly encourage you if you have not already picked up the guide, uh, maybe you've been watching me for a little while and you want to know how you can support the channel or you want to know uh, how you can get better as a Madden player. Here's what I want to tell you. If you haven't picked up the guide yet, I really think that it is time to pick up the guide. And here's why. Because that specific ebook is not only going to teach you how to pass the ball at a high level, it's going to teach you how to think. It's going to teach you how to create 
um, your own schemes. It's going to teach you how and why things work. It's going to show you why routes work, not just show you the routes, but it's going to show you the undertone of why it is actually happening on the field and then how you can translate that into whatever you want to do, whether you want to run Arizona or not. Uh, I still think that guide is going to apply to pretty much anybody that wants to pass the ball in this year's game. We do have some really good running concepts as well with some of the updates that we put into the ebook. Some things you can do. Obviously, Arizona is probably a it's a very pass heavy playbook, but um, in the right situations, I think you can very very effectively run the ball uh, with this book as well. But uh, anyways, guys, I just want to encourage you to check out the guide. Um, it would mean the world to me if you guys took a look at the guide and ended up purchasing it. Um, obviously, 100% of the proceeds go back into the channel, supporting the channel and helping make the channel more effective and helping me do what I do here. So anyways, I just want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys so much for your support. And uh, again, if you want to pick that guide up, that link is in the description. If you have any Madden questions at all, you can always text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. It's in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's also in the description as well. So shoot me a text. Uh, let me know what's up. Let me know how the guide's working for you. If you got it, if you guys got the guide, shoot me a text message today and let me know how the guide is working for you. I love reading those. I love hearing it. And if you have any issues with it, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to help you because this thing is... This offense is really, really good. I promise you that. Uh, I've played some really, really good Madden players, and this offense has really stood up to uh, the test of it. One, I've won a lot of money with the scheme, and I think what I've, from what I've heard through my texts, a lot of people have won a lot of money um, with this scheme. So if you haven't already picked it up, I would highly encourage it. And the defense, I'm telling you right now, you're going to start to see in the MCS world a lot more of the, the 46 defense because of the power of the nickel 335 and the way the nickel 335 uh, does such a good job against pretty much everything that anyone wants to do and you still have the nickel 335 wide which is most people's favorite formation in the game so um, it's just a really really good and comprehensive guide for you and uh, has really stood the test of time and it's also been updated throughout the season as well um, to um, kind of relay the latest trends and latest things you're seeing so Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for your time. We will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Our next YouTube video will go live at um, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time today. So uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that on the channel. Uh, other than that, text me or hit me up on Discord, and we'll see you in our next video.